Churches are among the places that can open up starting Friday. Our Brenda Lipinski joins us now. Now, Brenda, are some pastors choosing to wait to welcome in congregations? Leah, on Monday, Governor Abbott says churches can allow congregations inside, but suggests they hold services remotely whenever possible to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. And that's just what some of the churches in our area are doing. I don't know that we will ever go back to what is normal uh, before all of this took place. Pastor Sean Brewer with Victory Life Baptist Church is one of the many church leaders having to decide if their church will open up on May 1st. We uh, really appreciate what the governor's done and how they've tried to accommodate churches in, in every single way. We are not planning on opening up May 1st. We're still probably looking at a June 7th, that first Sunday in June. He says for now, his team will focus more on developing a stronger online presence. I just encourage every pastor truly to seek wisdom and counsel from uh, the, the leadership of their church and to, to follow and to do and to be able to look yourself in the mirror in the morning and say, I, to the best of my ability, did what I, I believe was right. At South Crest Baptist Church, rows of photos hold the place of churchgoers who have not been able to attend. Pastor David Wilson says those chairs will soon be filled with people. We're going to open up in the near future. He says his church will be disinfecting and seating people at safe distances. I'm actually encouraging those who are afraid to come not to come, and it's okay. We're not upset with them. One of the fears I had would, would be people driving by and seeing the parking lot full and thinking that we're not doing anything to be safe, when in reality, we really are going to do the very best we can to keep people safe. Both pastors say they can't wait to see their church members and that they hope everyone will make the decision that's best for them during these times. Leah?